Hello and welcome to Asia Net Newsable. I am here with our business editor Shuchi and we are going to tell you how not to get fired from a startup. With the current job climate in a massive upheaval and Snapdeal and Zomato and Flipkart firing people left, right and center, the situation is intense. Shuchi, what do you have to say about the current state of affairs? So I think you're not overstating facts when you're saying that the situation is intense. In fact, the government itself has admitted that unemployment rates in the country are up to 5%, which is the highest in the last five years. But Shuti, when it comes to these startups, we millennials love them. We would be rearing to go, like waiting for an offer letter from them. What do you have to say about the, to these people? Yes, absolutely, Anshal. I mean, look at, uh, say, an Ola, look at a Flipkart, look at a Snap deal. These companies have been celebrated over the last two to three years as the, as the young beacon of new India. But look at what's happened to them over the last eight to nine to 12 months. I mean, they have let go of, you know, say, 700, 800, even 1,000 employees. So what would you like to say to all those youngsters who are raring to go? You have to go to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. You have to go to the Registrar of Companies, but at least information about their profitability, which is key here, Anshul, because you have to understand that over the last three or four years, how has your company done? Has it been profitable? Because that will have a direct bearing on the financial future of your company and, of course, on your future. Somebody like a Bhavesh Agarwal from Ola is seen as a celebrity by people from my generation. Mm. Do you think I should join a company that he's promoting or backing? Well, just because Bhavesh Agarwal, you know, he, he regularly figures on these under 40 billionaire Indian, uh, you know, richest lists does not mean that the same case is happening in his company. What is interesting to understand is how these companies are run. These are not your regular brick and mortar companies, family run businesses which are going to be around forever. These are companies that are backed by these global investors who are not here to stay forever, who are here to create value and exit. So which means that you should understand the framework that you function in now. So you, so which also means that you know, there is a question mark on your job security. Because once one investor uh, exits, I mean there is a question mark on the entire venture. Mm -hmm. Shuchi, also coming to the revenue model of the companies, Flipkart just had their big billion sale I and mean, where is the money coming from? Where is it going? Every time these companies mount these big festive, se festive season discounts, they actually lose money. So this is something, this is the bread and butter of your company and you as a youngster who's joining this company, you could be in the PR department, you could be in, you know, in the automation department, you could be in logistics, but you should understand what is the bread and butter of these companies. Also, uh, what is extremely, extremely important, especially in the startup space, especially in the Indian e-commerce space, and even in other spaces, is the competitive landscape. Understand who is your main competition, who's doing better, look at the gross mer merchandise value figures, and have some idea idea of exactly where your company stands. Well, thank you so much, Shuchi. That was really helpful. We hope all the youngsters out there are listening, especially the ones who've just signed their offer letters. For more such videos and updates, please keep watching Newsable.com.